Welcome back to the Loveland Report and the Lona Ranger Show. I am Cleve Loveland here alongside the most famous mortgage own, company owner in Orlando, probably in <laughs> Florida. But you want your questions answered on what kind of mortgage to get, where are rates going to go. This is the man to call, and we appreciate you tuning in to listen to us. Um, you know, Bruce, I think I, I'm trying to go back through my books. I can't remember. I think I've been doing this show like 27 years now. It's been a long time, and, you know, it's funny. Because I think it's time to renegotiate my contract, make them yeah, pay me. Instead yeah. of me paying them. I got to talk to him about that. Well, so, you know, anyway, and, and you come from a long lineage because you know I I even knew Cleve's mom yep. before uh, I even knew Cleve, and uh, the guy that trained me in this industry used to work directly with your mom, and yeah. that's uh, she was a, well, she was a big player back then. What's funny is you know real estate changes and the prices change, but the situations are still about the same. Situations you know? are the same. You know, it's and funny how that happens. And the prices always go up, and the rents always go up. You know, so if you're a landlord, that's good news. If you're a renter, you need to buy. It's funny that you say that because isn't it interesting when we run into somebody that says, oh, I don't know if I want to buy because real estate's at an all-time high. Poor person. That's a poor person. It's always at an all-time high. They're always going to be a poor person if they think that. I, and it, yeah. it, it, it baffles me because, of course, it's at an all-time high. Do you think it's going back to the prices of 1962? Yeah. It's yeah. not going to happen. I think my parents' first house was... $27,000. If you buy real estate, I can guarantee you this much. It's going to go up in value. Now, I can also guarantee you that you'll see some fluctuation. But if you look at any chart over any period of time, the chances on you going down in value are very, very, very slim. Well, let's talk about that. We tease okay. the media. The media is saying that prices, sellers are having to drop their prices. Right. But prices aren't dropping. No. So that's the difference. Here's the, the like you always say, if it, le- leads, if it bleeds, it, it leads. leads. Yep. So here's the, th- here's the reality of it. In some places within the United States, they are coming coming down in value. But when we look at our market here in Central Florida and even Florida in general, the the real answer is is that sellers are dropping their price, but that's different than housing prices dropping. And like I, and like our inventory right now, our inventory has shot up. Sure. But there's still and this is in Florida and nationwide, it's still 40% less than it was in 2019. Okay. So we're still in a seller's market. We will. And be how for many a while. weeks of inventory do we have right now? Uh, we've that? got about six. Okay, six so six weeks. So and it's six months is a balanced market. So we're not even close to a balanced market. But let's just put this all in perspective, okay? So there's a difference in housing prices dropping. Even though if you look at the market right now, from this time uh last june to the july june vote oh, from june to july of this year it's dropped 2.2 percent yeah 2.2 percent okay mm-hmm. but let's put that in perspective i look at it as sellers are dropping their expectations rather than the sellers are selling for a lot less money because here's what's happening sellers were getting 10, 20, 30, 50. I had one buyer bought a house for 145,000 over appraised value. I'm not seeing that as much right now. But there's still, there, we're still seeing over ask price bids yeah, on yeah. houses. Lake Nona, you won't get into one in Lake Nona unless you're paying over ask. Going price. to a house this afternoon probably needs to be listed about 550. Okay. He's in great position if he, if he's, that's reasonable. If I show, if I, this is the thing. If a realtor doesn't show you any sales recently and say this is how they compare to your home, because sometimes it's not easy. You don't have five sales in right. your neighborhood. There you gotta, aren't comps. I gotta go. I gotta go a couple blocks. I gotta go a mile to check the other neighborhoods like your home. What's somebody getting a five three three thousand square feet with an extra garage on a half acre lot? I got. I might have to check a couple miles, but I can tell you what's happened in the last ninety days. But if the realtor doesn't show you any comps and just says where do you want to price it, beware. Yeah, make absolutely. sure you have an easy exit listing. And Cleve, uh, give out your phone number for me, please. Four zero seven three five two eight one one eight or lovelandreport.com. Yep, yeah, or the Loan Arranger Cross Country Mortgage, Bruce Woodburn. You can always reach me by phone or text at four zero seven two five zero nine one four four or webringyouhome dot com. So we're talking about sellers reducing prices versus prices falling because at, if. If I look at the numbers right now, and I've got them here in front of me, July of 2021 to July of 2022, we are up 16.7%. That's not a falling in price. That's, that's, just, up. that's, up less, our, that's less appreciation, but it's still darn good appreciation. I, no kidding, right? No kidding. Yeah. So, I mean, look, you and I have lived our life 
expecting a three to five percent appreciation and done extremely well in real estate. Yeah, that's Would what we do. Our, that's what that? we do our leapfrog seminar right? on. So when we, yeah, when we're teaching our leapfrog seminar, we are expecting that you're going to have a three to five percent appreciation, not a sixteen, not a twenty, not a twenty-three, just a three to five percent appreciation, and you can get rich with that. But here's the thing. Housing prices are not down. They're up 16.7%. So when you say they're down, they're only down from the expectation that a seller well, wanted. Over the next 3, 6, 9, 12 months, we're going to see headlines like that that say price appreciation is down 20%. Right. You know, or price is down to 10%. Not now, 20%. builders, are, but builders are, are, are actually struggling. They're starting to throw a lot of incentives over right now. I've seen them buying interest rates down. They're I've seen buying rates stuff, down. Yeah. They're doing all kinds of things to attract people in. As a matter of fact, I want to tell you something right now. There's very few builders out there that um, I have a relationship with, and I'm on their builder list. Now, in my opinion... Every single builder out there should have me on their list. I think there's, so. there's no question about it. There's no better mortgage team that we, I'm a direct lender. I'm in all 50 states. We do everything in house, everything, everything, everything. And I have more programs than any other lender I know of. So if you are listening out there and you're going out shopping with a builder, ask them why they don't have the loan arranger on their list. And there there has been companies out here that have been bought by these big national companies and they all have their own mortgage company. But it's not better. Give a client some options. You got your mortgage company? Compare me with you. I'll go up against anybody in the market. Well, this is what I saw an article here out of Fox Business about some realtor talking about how you got to shop your rates. Everybody's rates are about the same. Well, they are. Unless you're you're but you shouldn't pay a premium for, for poor, poor service, like the monster no. mega banks you described, my client that just absolutely insane telling him to liquidate 401ks when the guy's a mega millionaire. You don't, that you know, deal, to, that deal, that's a $2 you, million dollar and transaction. And realtors, I can't say enough about it. If you don't want to have to mess with somebody jumping in to rescue your deal when that's your paycheck and you got your, and your clients, depending on a mortgage guy you recommended, I know if it comes into a cross, into Bruce's cross country office, I know it's a deal. And I know it will work out, and they tell me exactly what is needed to make it work. And, I, and, and the buyer knows exactly what's needed and what they need to get in. Not some just, oh, yeah, you're good, you're good, moving trucks in the driveway. Oh, we can't do that. Well, you know, it's interesting because Cleve had referred this client over to me, high-end buyer, moving from California. And the guy called me, and he was like, wow, I'd really like to work with you, but i got to tell you, I'm working with my bank and I won't tell you the name of the bank, but it's got a W and an F in it. And they've already got me fully approved. I'm ready to go. I really appreciate your offer, Bruce, but I'm going to stick with what I got. It's almost like an episode of The Office. And, and it really was. So it, it was, it, and, and he told me, he goes, yeah, I got nine properties. You know, I've, I've got, you know, a ton of money in retirement and this, that. So I get a call about a week and a half ago, maybe a week ago, about a week and a half ago. Guy calls me up and goes, problem, banks running into issues. Well, wait a minute, you're a preferred banker. Yeah, they want me to move a million dollars of my retirement funds to a liquid account in their bank. I'm like, well, that's ridiculous. Yes, it would cost me $350,000 in taxes, in taxes yeah. to move that money that's over. Probably, that's the I'm all like, time. why did they want you to do that? I don't know, but they're, you know, they're offering me this great rate, and the rate, i got to tell you, was better than my rate, but it was it one of the... True. But it wasn't true. It was a lie. So you can offer whatever you want, but if you actually can't get it, you're not real. It was ridiculous. It doesn't exist. Yeah. It doesn't exist. So we've already got him. The the loan's already approved. I'm waiting on an appraisal, and I, I got to tell you something. I think this deal is going to come together and close it fast, and that yeah. would be a two week closing on a jumbo transaction. But if you're looking in that price range, call me, yeah. please. Realtors, I can't say enough about Bruce's office. What's that number? Four zero seven two five zero nine one four four. That's four zero seven two five zero nine one four four, or go directly to my website at webringyouhome.com. dot com.
want to make sure uh, you want to get a hold of me, 407-352-8118 or Loveland Report. How much time we got, Bruce? We got about uh, four minutes. Once, what, talk about this. What's going to happen as the market is cooling, There's we've got a little less sales. We've got like 20% less sales. I think that's going to hold steady for Florida, though. We're not I gonna, think so. We're, gonna, we're not going to drop much more because people can still move. They've got equity. They can change housing situations. I've got people coming in from out of state. I've got people with job transfers leaving the state. I've got people... You know, people always, death and taxes, people are always dying, got to sure. sell. Okay, let's sell the vacation home. All right, this house is too big for me now that my spouse is gone. Um, and and it's, the market should keep chugging along at a healthy pace. Absolutely. But what we're going to see is all this doom and gloom from the media. But the other thing you got to watch out for, and this is what's important, when you hire a realtor, make sure, if they're helping you as a buyer, have them show you what they're going to do for you. Right. Just have them show you what their show services are. Show you their are. stats, too. And show you their stats. When you're going to hire somebody to list your home, you can call me, make it easy, or make sure you've got an easy exit listing. You have solid, solid comps to market the home. What's their? This is the most important thing about an agent. I just, I'm a better negotiator than all the realtors in Central Florida. If I didn't believe that, you shouldn't hire me. Absolutely. And, and I'm sure there's other people who are great negotiators in town. I know some. But when I stand in front of you, I'm going to tell you, my job is to negotiate the best contract for you based on this market and this market conditions and not give away the farm. Absolutely. And I can't tell you how many times my buyer's agents, I laugh when I hear them talking about, oh, we, we put an offer in and we, the, the agent came back, meet you in the middle. I, right. don't, I don't ever meet in the middle. You know something, it, it's funny because uh, Cleve, does rescue those transactions on a regular basis too because a matter of fact i've got one right now i referred to cleave because the clients had her house on the market she had a contingency that she had to sell it she's had zero offers on it and th- to be honest with you i i couldn't understand why and then i looked at the contract and this doggone realtor had a clause in there that she could not change realtors without paying him a commission even though he did nothing for her don't sign a contract like that you guys don't do it it's it's so you're hiring somebody and you're not reading the fine print on the most important investment of your lifetime easy exit listing. don't do it call cleave at 407-352-8118 or you can call the loan arranger at 407-250-9144 or we bring you home.com here's something that i want to address cleave because it's really the elephant in the room and that's clients not wanting to move up to the house they want because the interest rate they have on their current home is so much better than the interest rates that are available today so it gets in their way. They're like, oh my God, I don't want to leave this house even though I need a bigger house, but I got a 2.99 rate on my current house and now rates are five and a half percent. So, um, here's, here's the thing. Again, you're marrying the house, you're dating the rate. Everyone that's getting a rate, whether it's an adjustable, a fixed, no matter what it is, I'm going to likely refinance you between six months and 36 months from now. We're going to see a drop in the market. It's going to come back down, but not before it goes back up. And we know we got a Fed hike on September 20th. They're going to raise rates another three quarters of a point. You think it'll and be three quarters? That's, that's the that's word the on the street. That's yep. the consensus. So, and, and here's the thing, Cleve. I, I don't really care. It, but it only hurts the, the, the first time home buyer. They're the ones that are getting hurt. So our government is all about helping the first time home buyer. No, you're not helping the first time home buyer. You're making it harder and harder and harder. Mm-hmm. But the loan arranger is here to make sure that we're helping more first time home buyers with hometown heroes and other programs that you can save money in. All you got to do is stop what you're doing and write my phone number down. It's 407-250-9144 or we bring you home.com you can always reach reach cleve loveland and his team of master realtors at 407-352-8118 we got one minute and um i want to talk about home sale cancellations another head another gloom and doom headline home sale cancellation surge you know what the surge was what was the surge they're up two percent whoa so less than that so that's a surge. That's like saying housing prices are falling because they went down two percent. So and and homes and can't I I probably have a cancellation rate of about less than one or two percent. You know, and usually it might be a bad inspection, a buyer getting a little flaky, but that's not. I mean, still people they can't find they can't get financing. The the person doesn't qualify them up front. 
They didn't call you to get qualified up front, and all of a sudden they find out, wait, there's an ex-wife hiding in the picture with alimony, whatever it might be. But for all your mortgage needs, call Bruce. Yep, 407-250-9144. And you can call me at 407-352-8118. We'll be back in five minutes with more of the Loveland Report and the Lone Ranger Radio Show. Stay tuned.